Get off the visible rat. I can't have you drowning before we reach Mr. Crone. I'd hate to see the man who crosses the likes of him. He'll be strung up to the judgment. Day. There's much worse in store for this one. <laughs> Look what we brought you, Mr. Crone. Ah, Samuel. Nice of you to have dropped by. Tell me, what could have possibly possessed you to think that you could ever escape my employment? Hardly call it employment, Crow. Servitude isn't exactly an occupation. Hold your tongue! Now, now, let's not resort to such violent means. I wouldn't expect any manners out of them anyway. Yeah, you're bomb, Why don't you bugger off? Yeah, bad, bad. Such vulgarities are disheartening. You two go wait outside. Or better yet, go home, or to the bar, and place my bed on the ladder. Back to business, then. I've been considering what your punishment should be for trying to escape your debt. Now, one in my position would normally resort to branding or whipping, but you've managed to catch me in a rather charitable mood. I recently came into possession of a plot of land on an island along the coast, and will require a few men to go survey this island. I think that I'd save a fair penny by sending you along as well. Seeing as you're more than eager to get away from me, I think this should be a fitting punishment. Well, considering my wide variety of options, I suppose I'm going on this vacation. Glad to see you compliant for once. You leave in a fortnight, and don't think you'll get another chance to escape. I'm sending Godfrey along to keep an eye on you. I trust you remember him. Slimy little weasel, how could I forget? Indeed. Now, off with you! Let's get this vessel ashore. We need enough daylight to set up camp. Whoa. The rest of my things are in the chest. Boys, this is the spot. Frederick, take Samuel and Godfrey and collect firewood. Doc Morris, Isaac, Abraham, stay here with me to get camp organized. Mm, I fear this task is below my standards, Ulrich. Why don't you send another one of your brutes along to do the grunt work? Uh, fine. Abraham, go along with them. I don't like the feeling of these woods. 
I mean, Mama I be acting up. She always be acting up when there's trouble of brewing. You know, I overheard some strangers talking at the Port Tavern. They were discussing disappearances, you know, spirits and stuff. Is that so? Good thing I always bring me lucky rabbit foot. Wards off evil it does. Ha! Doc, I heard the crew saying that this island was haunted. Do you ever hear anything like that? Yes, I've heard the tales. It's all poppycock and ramblings of drunken sea rats. There isn't any evidence to support anything supernatural. Evidence? You educated people think you know everything about everything. But I'll tell you one thing they don't teach at the university. Instinct. My gut tells me there's something going on here. I'm a man of science. There has to be evidence. Put your ramble in the both of ye. Now in all my years of sailing I've seen many a strange thing. But nothing that couldn't be explained by the likes of man. Yet I know this for certain. There is many a land where man has not yet trodden. And to think that we can explain everything is foolish. Fact of the matter is, if we go looking too much, we may not even like what we find. Now if you'll excuse me, I got to be retiring for the evening. Well, seeing as we're going to be stuck on this rock for the next few weeks, we might as well get to know each other. These two ingrates already know, but you're a newcomer. Tell me about yourself. I was born back in England to a dead mother, and a father that didn't want me. My father dropped me off in an institution. Of course, I hated it there, and as soon as I could walk, I left. I spent most of my childhood on the streets. One day, got, I got in some trouble with the law. They didn't know what to do with me, seeing that I was only a young lad, so they shipped me off to the colonies. Of course, I couldn't pay my own way over, so Mr. Crone offered to. I've been in a servitude ever since. Looks like you've been through a rough patch, lad. Oh yes, rough patch indeed. Street brackets, call that up and put to good use. Sounds like a first-rate situation to me. I'd take a street brat over a pompous, gutless invertebrate any day. Takes a lot of spine to go on from where he was. So many kids dying on the streets these days. I'm glad to have you aboard, Sam. Likewise, Doc. Samuel, go fetch water. Yes, sir. Frederick, Godfrey, Isaac. Where's Isaac? Beats me, Captain. Well, he was here last night, wasn't he? He must have gotten drunk and wandered off. Well, I suppose he'll turn up later. We don't have time to stand around waiting for him. We've got to get a move on.
There's something following us. Look there, ahead. Well, kick me in the pants and call me an NC. They got Isaac's hat. Well, uh, I sure did. Unless there are other people on this island with as terrible a fashion sense as his. Well, you are the expert. I told you these woods be haunted. They got Isaac. We're all doomed. Doomed, I say. Settle down. We can't lose our heads over this. At least now we know which direction Isaac was headed. We'll pick up on his trail tomorrow. For now, Let's just head back to camp. All right, everyone, gather around. Now that we know that Isaac's disappearance was not of his own means, We'll have to run a much stricter routine around here. We'll start night watches tonight, and no one goes anywhere alone. I will not have any more vanishings at this camp. I don't know why you're making such a big fuss out of this. Guns aren't going to do nothing against the forces of darkness. We don't even know what's out there. There's no harm in being prepared, at least for whatever it is. Jumping to outrageous conclusions isn't going to do us any good. It's all over! They're gonna be dragging us to hell by their bootstraps! You imbeciles are all making such a big deal out of this! The damn fool probably just got lost and forgot his stupid hat! If you ask me, it wasn't that big of a loss anyway. Who cares why he's gone? We need to find him, that's the point! Well put, lad. We'll head out early tomorrow in search of Isaac. For now, Frederick, you're on night watch as soon as it gets dark. Everyone else, be sure to get a good night's sleep. We have a rough day ahead of us tomorrow. <laughs>